You talked about um, people, move, like people moving out mm. um, and not coming to the club anymore. Is it because because the aspect changed, the demographics? Of the oh, definitely, changed? of course. It wasn't because um, of they didn't want to mix. Both. Okay. Both, but some did want to mix. Some of my white like, friends, they always was here. There's pictures of them up there as well. Um, did, did they move out of the estate, or were they still living on the estate? Still living on the estate, but just not attending this this place anymore. I remember the Providence discos, they were amazing, like Christmas discos in that room there. And um, <clears throat> up about 11, 12. And I always remember you would, a, lot of, a lot of my friends, a lot of black guys, you would see different guys from different areas come down, you know? And the, but it would be majority white, it would be majority Slade, these kind of bands. You know? And um, it was a laugh, I honestly, I remember. And they would play the Jackson 5 and, you know, certain black tunes. And we, me and my mates, we would dance in it and we'd get a circle around us. And as the years go on, you know, maybe 13, 14, um, Pasadena's, we were known as the Pasadena Twins, Michael and David, they came down and they took us on in it in a big circle and we just deal with it. And... Uh, uh, anyway, but by the way, Pasadena's Mike, all of them from around here, we all used to come here and stuff. And, you know, I put that band together. A lot of people don't re- realise that, that the Pasadena's is a band. They were called, um, they were called Finesse. They were a dance group. And they're now, we're about 17, 18, 19. So I used to put on events and, you know, have them dance, employ them. And then one day Michael said, oh, we want to do some singing. So I showed him how to write. Verses, bridges, took them to my brother in law's studio, set up the mics, harmonies, you know, get them gigs. You know, I was really a, an integral part of this group, and it's, I never used to talk about it. No, it's just recently I started talking about it. How old were you at this point? I was about 23, 24. Because when I was booking them, Latchman, when Latchman Swimming Bars reopened, they re- they'd done it up really nice. I booked them, Steve Walsh, God rest his soul. Fat Freddie M, he was the box boy for for um, Steve Walsh, yeah, who just came in. Um, if I said that to him, I wonder how his face would have been because it was the truth. Um, and I paid them. It was a very um something happened that night. It was really horrible that um my friend who we were, we were doing it, we were doing the night with his brother. We got his older brother to be at the door, and these younger kids than us who went to my school, they stabbed him. And he nearly died, and it, it really marred the evening. I'll never forget that. So we had to get him to the hospital, and my friend Nigel, who was part of the same brother, his brother who stabbed. He just got his mini. I just remember he just passed his test, and he had to take him. Good job we had that because I don't know who else was driving, but we got him to the hospital and saved him. Um, yeah. So, so these these kind of events. You know, this is when I'm a community person now because I know most people, I'm in my teens. A lot of the people still were living around the area. I'd say, I, I left the area when I was 20, about 23. And there was still a lot of the people, because I lived in Winstanley State, the block I was telling you about, Sport Court. That's where I lived in the 10th floor. I was there for about two, three years. And um, by then, a lot of them had moved out. And then... As time goes on, you know, I always come in the era, you know, like 90s, by 90s, mid-90s, quite a lot of them have gone, and I'm realising that they've all gone to this place called Sutton. I'm like, okay. So, 2019, most of the white people who were living in that area, in this area, they moved to Sutton. So they put on events there now. A lot of my friends go. I haven't gone yet. In fact, one of the ladies... She used to be a Winstanley girl. She's she's gonna book the British Collective, a band I'm in, to do something. So I've been um, talking to her, but it's that much, you know, so many of them. One of my friends, Ronnie Hicks, he said he didn't want to leave. He left sort of later in the nineties. He said he only left because, you know, around that time, Winstanley State then went through another sort of no go era, a drug, mainly black kids selling um, high, you know. High Class, what they call it, A class drugs, and it was a place, you know, a lot of stabbings, a lot of shootings. So, his my friend was telling me that his missus, you know, she said she really wanted him, you know, to have a she wanted their son, their children to have 
a better upbringing. So they, they went to Sutton. And he told me, he said, no, I didn't really want to go. He goes, because, you know, all my family come from this area. 